Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna talk to you about why I had to cancel my surgery. I was actually supposed to have surgery last week on Monday. And for those of you that don't know anything about what's going on here, um, I've lost over 100 pounds, actually 135 pounds, and so I had a lot of excess skin. I ended up getting skin removal surgery almost about 15 years ago, and then I had like really bad scars. I have them right here on my arms. Um, they're kind of like, they're not, keloid they're more like hypertrophic is what they call it it's um where your scar gets like thicker and dark and then over the years it kind of flattens out that's kind of what happened not kind of that's what happened to my scars and so i've just kind of been living with them for years and i'm finally like okay i'm gonna get them done and um i've been so excited about this so i went in last week about to have surgery and then long story short, I end up having to cancel it. So I'm gonna let you know why. Right now I'm just sipping on my chocolate chai. I'm um, just trying to get my liquid in, trying to get my electrolytes in. Um, I usually do my chili mango. You guys know I'm always kind of working on getting like my hydration up because guys, sometimes it's the end of the day and I haven't even had one bottle of water. So um, I just put a little packet in. This is the new one. So they have a new line with chocolate. Um, this is the chai and it's actually really good. At first I was kind of thrown off. I was like, wait, they have electrolytes and minerals and it tastes like chai and chocolate, but it actually, they turn out to be so good. The chai is actually delicious. I like to drink it hot and cold. Right now I'm drinking it hot and I just have it in my tumbler, but um, it still has all the electrolytes, all the minerals you need, a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, everything like these are all essential minerals for our bodies that are great also not only for hydration, but also for hormonal regulation for not only us as women, but also men. So some people would like kind of skip out on that, like huge benefit with electrolytes. So right now the chocolate medley is only available for a limited time, which is the one that I'm having. And each box includes 10 chocolate raspberry, 10 chocolate chai, and 10 chocolate mint. So right now Element is offering you a free sample pack with any order. So you can actually try all of their flavors, all eight single serving flavors in one sample pack. Now, in order to get the free samples, it's only available through my link. So just go to drinklmnt.com forward slash low carb love. And guys, I've never mentioned this before, but if you're not happy with your order, they actually do refunds without any questions asked, okay? So either way, I'm gonna leave that linked in the description below for you. So today I'm gonna talk to you about why I had to cancel my surgery. Um, I was supposed to have surgery last Monday. I went in, literally I was already in my gown. They were getting me prepped for IV. And um, one of the nurses went and grabbed my lab work and took it to the doctor and they all went and they were like, you know, having this little group meeting and I was just like, mm. you know, but I will say I called in a few days before. So I called in the Friday before and I was like, have you guys gotten my lab work back? Because I haven't heard anything about it. And I've always had an issue with my iron and that's something that I don't really talk to you guys about. Um, but I always am kind of monitoring my iron levels because in the past, after my weight, you know, after I lost my weight, I've always been kind of teeter tottering with anemia. And so it's just, I don't know. I, it's not like I have a super heavy flow because I have heard that when you have a really heavy flow, you can have really low le um, iron levels. And so anyway, that's definitely not the case. I have a very normal cycle and a very normal flow. Anyway, long story short, here comes a doctor and um, he sits me down, right? Because of course I'm having surgery. I'm like excited and nervous and all these emotions are going on. And he sits down and he holds my hand and he's like, well, pumpkin, we have an issue. And I was like, my iron. And then he looks at me and he's like, yeah, you are, um, you are very borderline. He said, typically, typically if you were a little lower, I would say absolutely not, but you are right on the border of, um, of anemia or I forgot exactly how he said it, but you are, he basically what he told me is I'm very borderline. He said, so I need to go over all the information with you and I need you to make a decision. And so I'm like, I don't know, like, do you know, I don't know, I'm here to have surgery and I'm literally like super nervous and I'm like almost ready to cry because 
I'm like, wait, am I not having surgery? Am I like, should I not be doing this? I'm like going on Google and I'm like, wait. And so anyway, there was like even more like a mix of emotions going on. And I was like, I did, I honestly didn't know what to do. I called my mom. I called Dawn. I was like, just, you know, literally really just trying to get answers, but at the same time scared because now I know that I'm not like a hundred percent, you know, my body is not like a hundred percent for surgery or like prepared for surgery because so a lot of people do a post, you know, um, like preparation for surgery and then you have the pre, so pre and post. And, um, anyway, I'm over here thinking like this came so super last minute. I wasn't even expecting it, but then like they had an opening and I was like, well, it kind of works with my schedule. Anyway, long story short, like it was definitely like a last minute thing where I was like, okay, I'm going to do it because I actually planned on doing it at the end of the year. I'm talking to the doctor and he's like, well, I'm going to give you a few minutes, you know, go ahead and take some time. We're going to be outside and let us know. So that just put that much more pressure on me because I'm like, wait, wait, like I can't make this decision. Like, are you kidding me? I don't know. Should I be having surgery? And so I went online and something inside me was already just like, if you're not a hundred percent, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. But I went online and then it said, you know, it wasn't that big of a, because it's not like a really huge surgery. It wasn't like I was having like a full blown tummy tuck where you're going to go like deep into, you know, layers of my body. And then I'm going to have like these crazy sutures. And then I was going to have like drains that wasn't going to happen. So it was going to be like a revision of scars. So anyway, I realized how important the healing process was for this surgery. And with the healing comes the oxygen that's in your blood and like your iron levels have so much to do with the way you heal. So in my mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute, I'm not gonna go through all of this and also obviously pay this money and put my body through all this and me not be 100% prepared for the healing process. I don't know if that makes sense, but, but anyway, Bottom line is once I realized that the healing process had to do a lot with like your hemoglobin levels and the iron in your blood, I was like, wait a minute, that's exactly what I'm lacking at this very moment. And then I just felt really strongly and really secure about saying like, no, I have to cancel the surgery. And so, um, the doctor was leaving. And so, you know, because I thought, okay, maybe if we do it like in a week or two, I could work on my, on my iron levels, but it takes, it actually takes some time. It usually takes a few months to get your, um, hemoglobin up. And, um, I actually have my test results and I will share them with you, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of share what's going on because I know everyone's like, wait, when's your surgery? When are you having surgery? And now I'm like, I had to cancel it. And people are like, wait, what? You know? And so anyway, that is the situation. I actually had to cancel my surgery because my iron levels were just too low. So anyway, that happened. I was a little bummed. I'm not going to lie. Leaving the hospital, I had to put my clothes back on and then just like kind of walking down the elevator, getting back in the car. It was kind of like a little um, emotional roller coaster because of course you're like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to have surgery. And then you get in there and you're like, oh. Oh my gosh like what and then walking out so i did feel like a bit bummed but i will say thanks to that thanks to actually getting my results and seeing everything i'm like okay i have to get on it like i really and so i went back to basics um i've just been following my meal plan i've definitely slimmed down definitely lost a lot of the blow and a lot of the weight that I gained while I was in Hawaii. Um, I will leave my meal plan linked in the description below for you. So for those of you that are trying to lose some weight, if you're struggling, if you fall off the wagon often, grab my ebook. It's going to be super, super helpful. So now I am also eating more meat. I am taking an iron supplement, no junk. So literally like no junk food. I've been really, really limiting my sugar and really focused on protein. So that's what I've been doing. I feel really, really good doing that. Anyway, I've just been making some changes. I might do a what I eat in a day so that you can see exactly like what I'm eating right now that I've gone like back to basics. And 
I'm gonna have more blood work done. So I'm gonna have some labs done in about a month. And then let's see where my iron level is at. Um, as of now, I am hoping to have surgery in November. Um, I feel like it's gonna give me enough time for me to just kind of get my iron levels back up, my hemoglobin back up, and um, for me to just be at my very, very best. Because right now, I feel like I'm just trying to really prep my body to be like at the healthiest I can possibly be before going into surgery, and then um, have the best results. Because at the end of the day, the type of surgery that I'm having is solely based on the recovery, like solely based on the healing. And so I need everything to be like, I need my skin skin not to be dry like I'm even I'm even taking a supplement for that and I can already feel it like even on my hair because sometimes my hair gets really dry and so that's really been helping what else have I been yeah yeah so anyway supplements food everything and I'm hoping to have that surgery done in November so I'm gonna bring you along that was my plan my plan was to bring you along but um, it didn't happen so anyway it just really I I ended up turning like a negative into a positive and I feel amazing and I'm so happy and I'm, I really feel like I made the right decision so um, like no regrets here but it is still gonna happen and I will bring you along when it does so anyway just wanted to give you an update I know some of you are probably wondering like hey what happened like when are you having surgery and so um, it is still happening but if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you follow me there because I will be doing kind of just like um just like daily little vlogs when it does happen so anyway thank you for being here I just wanted to share that with you make sure you hit that like button and show me some love and guys always share share my channel share all my recipes with your friends and family whether they're trying to lose weight or maybe they're diabetic um, a lot of my content can be super super helpful but thank you for being here I love you and I'll see you on my next video Mwah.